Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Answer and Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 28. And I've just completed the fourth Infinity Challenge, and I want to progress further. So that's what I will do. E75 Infinity Points start here. It's enough to get a few Infinity Dimension upgrades and um, the Infinity Point doublers. But the worst Infinity Challenge is coming up, and that is Infinity Challenge 5. It is worse than Infinity Challenge 4 because Infinity Challenge 4, it's, you can like get the galaxies pretty easily at first, and then you just do 7, 6, 5 for 3, 2, 1, and it's pretty easy that way. But with Infinity Challenge 5, you have to be a lot more careful with what you purchase because of it's more like Challenge 9 with the cost costs like go up. It's not as bad as Challenge 9 in that regard, but Still, it's something I don't want to be stuck in for a long period of time. So, E80 Infinity Points. It's enough to get more Infinity Dimension upgrades. I still haven't quite unlocked Infinity Challenge 5. Maybe there's some achievements I can get. I can probably get Error 909, which is get to Infinity with only a single first Antimatter Dimension without Dimension Boosts, Galaxies, or... Um, yeah, or that. It, while in the second... Auto the, the challenge two basically that's a, that's a saying so go to this um, by one and oh, I just went into infinity challenge two instead of regular challenge two do this now do this and it's definitely possible there we go there's error nine oh nine will help boost things even further and then I should turn my auto buyers back on get any doublers I can or in dimension upgrades and yeah let's keep progressing e81 infinity points i think it's going to start slowing down at this point and this is where i'm going to need to do infinity challenge five so here i'm going on a long run because um, i was hoping i could get another galaxy and i can wait for the infinity point doubler so i can just double my infinity points after i already get a lot of them so this gets me e83 Infinity points, which is another doubler and one of the first infinity dimension upgrades. But then after that, the upgrades are few and far between because the next upgrade is at E86. So I think this is a good time to go into infinity challenge five. So this is why it's rough. I can't really automate any of it. The only Dimension auto buyer I can leave on is the eighth dimension auto buyer. Everything else has to go. Well, except there's been a change to Infinity Challenge 5. And this is that the goal is higher, but the tick speed thing where everything of equal cost increases is not does not exist anymore. So I can actually leave the tick speed auto buyer on, and I probably want to leave galaxies and dimension boosts on and sacrifice. So Basically, I will have to lose a reset, and and yeah, at least I don't have to do this for every galaxy. I just have to do this for the first galaxy, and then for five, six, seven, eight, until I can't get any more galaxies. I open I open the how to play menu accidentally with tab key because it's so close to the one key, and I'm just doing this so so quickly. I'm looking through, I'm actually looking through my OBS instead of the actual screen because that's where it's closer to the 1 through 8 keys. And I can get all the way to 34, 35 galaxies and a whole bunch of dimension boost. And I don't even know how close I am to beating this challenge, but it's definitely taking a while. I hope my keys are fine. Okay, 99%. It looks like I am. Almost there, so I can probably just start doing stuff like... I can just start spamming the one key, and it's probably going to get... Yep, there we go. <laughs> Infinity Challenge 5 is complete, which is the hardest challenge, and has the best reward out of all of them. Galaxies are 10% stronger, and reduce the requirements by 1. The second part isn't really that important, but the first part is extremely good. Because anything that boosts galaxies is automatically very very powerful upgrade so now this 
yeah, it gets me all the way to E92 infinity points, which is crazy. And this is a lot. I'm just going to max all these infinity dimensions. So, yeah, this challenge reward pushes me to E100 infinity points easily. So, there we go. E97. Wait just a little longer, and I will get up to E101. So, that's like Google infinity points. Get a, get a whole bunch of these upgrades, which is really nice. Also, this is where the colors start coming in, which is interesting. I've all, I've unlocked the next two Infinity Challenges, which is crazy. I don't remember Infinity Challenge 7 unlocking so early, but there we go. E106, E107, three more doublers, just one more of these upgrades, but the three doublers will help enough that I can probably get all the way to... E108, I also get, you can get 50 Galaxies achievements, which is nice. I don't, I'm not sure if this one has a reward. It does a reward. It's, tick speed is, like, just a little bit faster. It doesn't, not really powerful, but it, it, every little bit helps. So, E110 Infinity Points, it's probably around now where I want to start doing Infinity Challenge 6. So, E111... Get this, and then enter Infinity Challenge 6. It's, it's the one with the matter. I don't think it really matters all that much. As long as I can just keep getting galaxies and dimension boost. Should be easy. Boom. There we go. The reward is Infinity Dimension Multiplier based on tick speed. So, I don't think it's the best reward ever, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, E114 Infinity Points. It's enough to get a couple more Infinity Dimension upgrades and... A few more doublers. Probably is going to prepare me for Infinity Challenge 7, which I would say is actually the third hardest Infinity Challenge because of how it just takes a while sometimes. It's the one that basically prevents galaxies from working, but makes, but in compensation, it makes the dimension boosts much stronger. So, yeah, there's that. I probably, I don't know how far I want to push. Probably E116 it should be fine. So let's enter Infinity Challenge 780, E10,000 Antimatter, and yeah, just get Dimension Boost. It does sometimes take a little bit of time, but I think the Glyph Boost really helps in this challenge. So there we go. Infinity Challenge 7 complete. This makes Dimension Boost stronger. So E116 Infinity Points all the way up to E119 Infinity Points. It's enough to get a few of these, a few of these. I know it's so repetitive, but there's only one more Infinity Challenge to go, and that is Infinity Challenge 8. And then after that, I am going to unlock Replicanti. So now I've unlocked Infinity Challenge 8, and I think this is one of those challenges where I can basically go right into. I'm also getting a doubler here. Actually, I can, I can get E131 Infinity Points. This is really nice. This is definitely enough to beat the challenge, which I think this is where, like, where your dimension, where the production, like, rapidly decreases where you start, if, you, if you're not buying anything, but, yeah, this challenge is really easy, and this means I can just do the final push to Replicanti. The reward is you gain a multiplier to answer our dimensions 2 to 7 based on the first and eighth dimension multipliers. This gets me up to E135, Infinity points, which gets me several doublers, and it gets me a few more infinity dimension upgrades, just the same as always. And this is where, yeah, Replicanti E138. I can unlock the new infinity dimension right away. Actually, before unlocking Replicanti, because it's kind of weak in the beginning, I'm gonna focus my efforts on the the fifth infinity dimension. So just one more run until I actually do stuff with Replicanti. Here we go, unlock Replicanti. So here's the thing, Replicanti is three times faster because of the, not the glyph, it's because of this reality upgrade, Replicative Amplifier. So because of this upgrade, I can start, or the Replicanti won't be as grindy as normal. However, there are... It's still going to be 
a grind. Replicani at this stage is just extremely slow, and I do not have the really useful Replicanti related achievements. I the big one is is this safe where you keep my you keep your Replicanti and a replicated galaxy on infinity. So that's gonna that's gonna be rough. There's also another really good Replicanti related achievement. It's much further down. It's this one where I gain Replicanti two times faster under E three oh eight and in this stage of the game, it will always be under three or under E three oh eight infinity points. So basically, I can almost just ignore it at this point because there isn't much I can do with it. Like I can't even get okay. I can start getting these upgrades, but it still says almost three hours until I get more replicanti or and get infinite replicanti. So this stage of the game is just rough. I, there's not much I can do to speed it up. It's just waiting for Replicanti to get to a decent amount. So this is the kind of stuff I would do off camera. Now, there is a stretch goal I'm going for, which is, it's not, it's not an achievement, it's a reality upgrade. It is complete your first eternity without using Replicanti galaxies. If I can get this, that would be amazing. I'm not sure if that's possible, though. There's another achievement. It's, what is this one? All galaxies are 1% stronger. That's actually a really useful reward. That pushes me up to E156. I mean, I'm going to need all of these achievement rewards I can get if I want to actually get unlock this reality upgrade, because there's a good chance I'll be getting 28 reality machines, which is enough to get... Um, this and this and well this is not going to be useful at this point it'll be useful in the late game and also the other thing with replicanti that I haven't really showed you is the time study tree looks a little bit different and this is because of the perk i got the, um i got this perk which reduce removes the eternity challenge 5 requirement from time study 16 or not 162 just 62 there's another achievement. There's a lot of achievements at this point. Um, this is a very weak reward. It's almost non-existent. But anyway, E163 infinity points. I'm, I'm not even checking Replicanti because it's just so weak. But yeah, this will this will make the Replicanti grind a lot less for a specific part of the game. Basically, between... A, between like early eternity and when I can actually do eternity challenge five. So it's interesting, but unfortunately at this point, it looks like the game's slowing down. Maybe it's probably because of the Replicanti luck because early on Replicanti is heavily luck based, which really it, it sucks that it's like that. But I mean, yeah, it's just, it's kind of a poorly designed mechanic. And it feels like it was just designed just so you could get to E three oh eight infinity points with the least amount of effort. But it, it get but it becomes like a lot more useful the, the later you go into the game. So I think at this point I'm just gonna be doing these runs off camera. And next episode I'm gonna I'm gonna see just how possible it would really be to get the get cosmo cos cosmically duplicate unlocked because it is just such a good upgrade to get and i was i was really close to getting that i don't i think my episode three i was looking back at my thumbnails and i i was thinking like i, I looked at the, the, the thumbnail for episode three and i'm like Wow, I didn't realize that there was a whole upgrade that getting to eternity without using replicated galaxies is its own thing. So, I, got, I think I was able to avoid replicated galaxies all the way until, like, somewhere like E290 or E300 or infinity points. So, that's what I'm going to try to go for. So, basically, it's just waiting for Replicanti and avoiding hitting the 
reset Replicanti amount for a Replicanti Galaxy. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.